Hey, Yaro Kubrin here, Keller Williams Realty. Happy Friday to you. So I just wanted to share a little bit about what I've been working on with some of my clients in this real estate market. One of the things that I've noticed here in sunny Sonoma County, California, is that we tend to run into houses sometimes that don't have a heater or a permanent heat source. And believe it or not, in this Mediterranean climate where everybody wears sandals and shorts even into December, it's not uncommon to find a house that doesn't have a heater in it. Well, if you looked at the weather, and you might think that that's not a problem. But it's come to my attention that there are lending guidelines for Fannie and Freddie Mae, Freddie Mac, that prevent the lending on a house that doesn't have a permanent heat source with a permanent fuel source. Now, I am not a lender, and the credit markets change very quickly. But currently, that would mean that if you were going to go out and get a loan to purchase a home, and that loan was conforming to Freddie, Freddie and Fannie guidelines, then you would need to have a permanent heater on a permanent fuel source. Well, how does that play, play out in, in real estate these days? So I'm in escrow right now on a property in West Petaluma. It's a farm and it's got barns and houses and seven acres. And um, that house has got a beautiful wood-burning stove right in the living room with a nice brick surround. Looks great. But guess what? There's no permanent heat source. So in the course of this escrow, myself, representing the buyer, have had to negotiate how to get a permanent heat source installed in a property prior to my buyer owning it and in such a way as to prevent my buyer from having thousands and thousands of dollars of cash at risk. So those are some of the things that you would need a real estate agent who understands lending guidelines, who can converse in lenderese with the loan officer or the mortgage broker, and who also has an understanding of what HVAC systems will work, whether they have electrical requirements, do we have to get an electrical bid in as well as an HVAC subcontractor. Those are the kind of things you're going to want to look for in a realtor that you choose as somebody who understands those types of things. So thanks for signing in and listening to me talk about HVAC systems and how those are affected by lending guidelines.